Your next plant is number 42 on your list. This is Ulmus Americana, the American Elm. So this is a, uh, um, this is to trees, uh, in my opinion, sort of what the uh, uh, bald eagle is uh, for American symbols. This is a, a really majestic, magnificent tree. Um, <clears throat> you can see it forms a really large, vase-shaped tree in the landscape and used to be the most common uh, street tree in the eastern United States uh, until Dutch elm disease came in, pretty much wiped it out uh, completely. So there are some uh, resistant uh, forms that are out there and, and also some different ones. Uh, nonetheless, American elm uh, very distinct for having uh, four to five inch leaves. Uh, they have an oblique base, which means they really are distinct by having a more of the uh, leaf blade on one side of the petiole versus the other, and it gives them a bit of a, uh, a falcate shape, a bit of a, a, um, a bend to the shape uh, of the leaf. The leaves are alternately arranged. Uh, the flowers are perfect and they produce a very small, uh, maybe dime-sized uh, Samara, blows around, gives a really nice uh, effect here on campus. In fact, we have a, uh, an allay of elms, which is a, uh, a, a uh, tunnel formed by uh, two lines of trees that overlap, and, and basically you have a tunnel where the branches uh, come down. And really nice effect of the Samara dropping uh, down on you uh, later in the season. But anyway, American elm, really fantastic tree, unfortunately, a little challenging on the East Coast, but they're still uh, perfectly viable here on the West Coast. Almost Americana.